Hello there, I'm Nagito Komaeda, and today I'll be surviving 100 days in Minecraft. I spawned in a forest biome filled with oak, birch, and hope. I immediately started chopping down trees to gather wood and craft tools. Then I started killing some pigs as I would need their meat for my survival. Do not worry, dear pigs, you are dying in the name of hope. I continued exploring and eventually found this giant cave. But it's way too early to explore this, but hey, I'll take some coal. I continued exploring until I found a bunch of chickens. There was a ton of them, and you know I can't say no. To cock. There was also a lot of sheep nearby, and I needed some wool for a bed. Do not worry, dear sheep, you are dying in the name of hope. I soon ran back to the big cave and began digging into it, as well as give my meat some time to cook. I didn't find much other than some colon, ugh, copper. Such a despair-filled ore. On day two, I left the cave and ventured into the forest to collect some more wood. I'm still a little nervous about having no armor, so I'm gonna kill some cows for some leather. Do not worry, dear cows, you are dying in the name of- Oh, okay, I'll stop making that joke. I actually killed a lot of animals today. Their hopeful meat will serve me well. It started to get dark again, so once again I burrowed under the ground. I only did a tiny bit of mining today. I mostly just wanted an opportunity to craft some armor and a bed. I know it's not much, but it'll help. Day three, I left that hole and began trying to find my way back to the large cave, but was soon filled with hope after seeing a village. It's a little messy, but I think I can fix this place up. I walked into a blacksmith and found diamonds. Eh, just my luck. However, I did find three nitwit villagers in this town, so I guess I'm not that lucky. I'll be sure to put them in the reserve course, but for now, I need to sleep. There's lots to do tomorrow. Day four was mostly filled with renovations, just trying to make this town a little less despairful to look at. I also kicked this blacksmith out of his house. Sorry, sir, but you have no talent. More of the same, day five, just trying to make the town prettier. Although my shovel did break, so I guess there's that. Day six, I'm getting tired of these renovations, so it's time to start mining. I bumped into a cave, which supplied me with some more coal and iron. I also found a zombie with some enchanted armor, but didn't get any, sadly. I lost the footage for day seven, but now I have enough iron for armor and a shield. Yeah, you can see the work I've done to this cave trying to keep it safe. Yeah, nothing can kill me, except myself. It's a good thing I don't play on hardcore. The despair I would have felt would have been unbearable. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not getting my stuff back. It's okay, we all make mistakes. Just look at my parents. After a resupply on day nine, I did end up finding where I died. It was just a hole I didn't see. Sadly, all my stuff was gone, barring a helmet that a zombie picked up. Back to the renovations on day 10, since it's apparently the only thing I can do right. I'm actually quite proud of something for once. This town is looking very beautiful, unlike me. Later, I began expanding the path. I hope you can guess why. Yep, it's time I actually build myself a house. But first, there's some land that needs to be cleared. It ended up becoming dark before I could finish, but there's always tomorrow. More of the same on day 11, except I'm also covering up this lagoon. I found it a few days ago. I just didn't bring it up because there wasn't anything interesting inside. Finish the landscaping on day 12, time for some wood. I spent quite a lot of time chopping. I'm gonna need it. I began construction on day 13. It's a fairly simple house, but it'll be very hopeful. Trying to go for a similar look to the other houses in the village. That's a lie, I just really suck at building. Putting in windows day 14. Yeah, I'm using blocks instead of panes. I'm just that kind of person. I also started putting on the roof. I used other roofs in the town as a reference. I was finishing the house on day 15, but suddenly we had an Intruder. Don't worry, the cops were called, and the perpetrator was silenced. On day 16, the house was finished, and as a more notable man once said, if it has a door, it's home. Spent the rest of the day moving stuff over. I got big plans tomorrow. Hey, it's tomorrow, so let's get to it. I'm trying to find a desert. I need cacti for some green dye. I didn't end up finding one, though, but I did find this mountain covered in lava. Also a village, but like, who cares? Do not worry, dear villagers. You are being robbed in the name of hope. Found my way back on day 18, just went in a big circle. I went in a different direction this time and found a massive cave. I'm definitely going to have to explore this at some point. I also murdered a family of cows. Each one died very painfully. Alright, it's day 19 and I still haven't found a desert. Although I did find a jungle, so I don't know whether to be happy or pissed. Would you believe me if I told you I found another village? Yeah, this sucks. Day 20, I found a ruined nether portal that definitely didn't catch on fire. And is that what I think it is? Oh my god! This isn't exactly what I wanted, but it'll do. It has cacti after all. I also found an outpost nearby, but I can't take it down. I don't have enough gear. I ran home full of hope. 
Back at home, day 21, just dumping loot into my chests. I also took time to craft some new armor. It's not much, but I'll need it to explore that cave. I then finally crafted my new bed. Four days of searching? Definitely worth it. You think I crafted a little too many torches? Nah. Resupplied and ready, day 22. Gonna go explore that cave. Here we are, and I'll tell you my strategy. I have one water source going up to the top, and I surround it with torches to make it safer. I'll also run around the cave to make it safer as well. I found some iron and other stuff. Nothing too noteworthy. I then witnessed the live burning of a zombie villager. Now that's despair. Ran home afterwards. I wanted to craft some armor before I go back. Now that looks sturdy. Back in the cave, Day 23, just a spelunkin. Although I was attacked by a riot of zombies. I don't get why they were so mad. I was just taking the cave's natural resources all for myself. I also found some diamonds. Very hopeful. Witnessed a mad skeleton duel on day 24. He killed his brother and a spider, but it was ultimately a creeper that took him out. Speaking of creepers, a gang of them snuck up on me. I must have been wearing the wrong colors. Back home, just spilling the loot, and I really need to organize this stuff. Day 25, I'm building something. I hope you can guess what. That's right, I'm creating a sugarcane farm. But not any sugarcane farm. I'm putting Amish people to shame. Putting in the actual sugarcane on day 27. I can't completely fill the farm out, but it'll eventually be filled up. I also created a little carrot farm. Those will be hopeful as well. I then began tearing down the village houses on the other side of the hill. I'll put something better in its place, don't worry. Sorry sir, but you have to move out. The demolition continued on day 28. Now that I've finished tearing things down, I'm placing dirt to cover it up. The dirting continued on day 29. I also trapped a bee under the dirt. We'll check up on him in a few days. I then put some frames up for the building. I'll reveal what it is tomorrow. Hey, it's tomorrow, so I'll tell you. I'm building a breeder to fill with villagers. It's time to forego the hard labor life in favor of exploiting the less intelligent. It's almost there. Two more days should do it. Never mind, it's day 31, and this is definitely gonna take longer. Day 32 was filled with suffocation, villager abduction, and frustration. Got one in today. I'll get the other tomorrow. Got him a mate on day 33. Did you know you could just lead villagers around with workstations? Yes. Yes. Oh, come on! You will be breed for me one day, slaves. Day 34 was just filled with nitwit torture. I just thought if I killed the stupid ones, the smart ones would breed. I finally got them to breed on day 35. Oh my god, he's so cute. Time to put the roof on. Day 36 was just filled with a lot of roofing. More roofing on day 37. Finish the roof on day 38. Yeah, I like that. I might swap it out for cobble one day, but for now, I'm happy. Also, time to harvest the sugar cane because it's time to make some money. But first, I need to create another carrot farm. I'll be honest, I'm just waiting for my crops to grow. Got another baby on day 39, hoping to make this one an armorer. Mostly just village chores for the rest of the day. Although I did increase my carrot farm again. Still doing chores on day 40, just waiting for the babies to grow up. Oh, and I did check on the bee. He's still down there. Look, if he wanted his freedom, he should have minded his own beesness. Crafted a fishing rod, maybe that'll help. Witnessed a squid die, maybe that'll bring me good luck. It did not. I caught a bull. I spent days 41 and 42 with the villagers. I spent most of day 43 preparing for an expedition. Tomorrow we conquer the world. Okay, it's day 45 now, and I assure you, dear viewer, that absolutely nothing happened on day 44. That's right, nothing. Now let me just get some emeralds to help with the pain. A little deforestation should never hurt anyone, right? All right, it's day 46 and I'll tell you what happened. So basically, I found a skeleton spawner in the mines that spawned around 11 skeletons around me and I just didn't stand a chance. So that's why I'm trading right now. Just hoping to get some good armor before I go back down. Hey look, I just got some diamond pants. Day 47, I bred a new baby. Hopefully he'll sell me a helmet and chest plate. Nothing much other than that though. Just getting some hopeful resources in the cave. And when you look at that, all that hard work for nothing. Well, there's always another hope, but this ain't it. Started a new project on day 48. It's a hopeful wheat farm. I also started building a pen for some sheep. I'm gonna need them. Later that night, I was attacked by two spiders with swiftness. I spent all night trying to get some sheep. I even fell off a cliff because I wasn't paying attention. Day 49 began with some squid killing. I need their ink. Dying the sheep black. Trust me, this is needed. Spent the rest of the day tending to the farm. Those emeralds give me serious hope. Time to share the sheep on day 50. I need their wool for a project. Yep, this is gonna be huge. What is it, you ask? Stick around and find out. Any guesses? Started smelting some terracotta on day 51. I need it. I spent the rest of the day looking up recipes. Work still continued on day 52. 
Things are a little different on day 53. I'm making terracotta. Giving it away on day 54, if it wasn't obvious, I'm building a statue of me. Got most of the main colors on, just gotta work on the face and hair. Day 55 began with the death of my weaponsmith, a zombie infected him, and then I began training because I'm tired of statue building. This guy looks promising. Are you serious? Pants again? Ugh, talk about despair. I went to bed that night pissed. Back to the statue work on day 56, what did you expect? I also ended up destroying my crops. Day 57 is here, and wouldn't you know it, I'm still working on a statue of the most ugly and worthless person ever. We're getting close on day 58, it's really shaping up. I spent the rest of the night killing skeletons, I need die. Made a tactical error on day 59, I told you, there's a reason I don't play on hardcore. Day 60, the statue is finally done, I'm so massively filled with hope. I celebrated by killing a bunch of sheep. Don't worry, they were agents of despair. And then on day 61, I began gathering resources and crafting new things. Because it's time for a complete shift in my economy. It'll involve the creation of new villagers and the extermination of old ones. Do not panic, sir. You are being assassinated in the name of hope. Prank him, John. On day 62, I started the mass breeding. Hey, little guy, in a few days, are you gonna sell me good stuff or are you gonna be dead? In the name of hope, of course, just like this cow. <laughs> Spent the rest of the day just chopping wood. Oh, and if you were curious. Here's how jacked up my trades are. Not much going on on day 63, just your average chores. But I did go back to the caves to get some more coal and iron. I needed it for a smithing table. Bought some overpriced cake on day 64. Mmm, I just love the taste of floor cake. Still mostly doing village chores. Gotta get my street cred back up. Day 65, I began the renovation of this villager house into an ugly but effective watchtower. The construction continued until morning. Ooh, a new toy to play with on day 66. In order to get my trades down, I need a raid. And in order for that, I need a pillager outpost. So I spent all of day 66 venturing to try to find the one I found on day 20. Here's a fun little tip. You can scale mountains pretty fast with a water bucket. And it's just as fun going down. Also gonna pick up some more melons while I'm out here. Back at the other village, day 67. We're getting close. I also spotted another forest fire. We are finally here, day 68. Took me long enough. Despair spotted. Hopeful forces engage. I laid wait to the captain, finally getting the bad omen effect. On the way home, I spotted a village and started a raid. Holy crap, I was not prepared for this. <laughs> Oh, the despair. I'm back at spawn away from home and have nothing. I eventually found my way back. It's not that far. I really am useless. <laughs> like most, I started day 69 on my bed and that's it. I can't take it anymore. No more house. No more statue. No more dumb villagers that hate me. I am blowing up this village in the name of hope. Oh!